Alrighty, so what we're going to do today is we are going to majorly disassemble the uh, Ryobi uh, One Plus Brushless Hammer Drill. Now, I do have two of them. This one doesn't work. What happened to uh, this one is this one was submerged in water for a couple of days with a battery connected, which I think fried the circuit board or fried something. Now, I already took this apart. I disassembled it to a certain extent just to make a visual inspection to see if there was anything wrong with it. There was major, not major, but there was corrosion on the motherboard. Uh, getting it to work after that is slim to none. So we're going to take this apart and we're going to use the same drill to disassemble itself. This drill is awesome, by the way. I love this drill. This, These two combination right here is perfect. This is a married couple right here. Impact driver, the brushless impact, the P238, I think. I'll put the correct number in right now. And the Ryobi brushless hammer drill. Now, I do have another one. I do have another brushed hammer drill, which I haven't even tested this when it comes to the hammer part. But we are going to do a uh, head-to-head -head comparison and see which one of these is actually better. So, that's in a future video. Like I said, I have a ton of videos coming out. Just uh, let's get to it and disassemble the hammer drill. Alright, now, you do, if you have a, a big drill kit uh the odds of you having this size is pretty much guaranteed first try bingo right there this is tt10 or t10 this yeah, the t10 the t10 bit with sorry it's not light enough the t10 bit out of the the new uh gray case We are going to use the new stuff because out with the old, in with the new. Now let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a bit excessive. Let's just take this off. For what I need, I just use this. I think this would be good. That's good right there. Come on. There we go. It's on by that one latch. There we go. I got that, got that, got that, got that, got, got it. I think just this one. Very good. Now, the troubled, what took me a little while to figure out is, which I'll show you. Oh, yep, I forgot. You need the four in front. They need to be drilled out all the way. Very good. And last one. Alrighty, so after you after you do that, what you do is you take the the silver thing right here, it that just comes right off. Just like that. So now you have 
that just slides off. So, because what I had a tough time finding is there's one more screw right here. Now it'll come, it'll disassemble with extreme ease. actually came on I, and have it there we go and then have because everything's attached to the side with the label so have the mechanics on the on the labeled side the one without the label uh, is the one that comes uh, that nothing is actually attached to so inside what we have we have the magnet of course that's what the magnet looks like you focus in on that So, just like that, you have the switch, you have the prongs for the, for the battery, and now if you put that in, make sure the battery is, the, that this is not inverted, because your battery will fry out. Then we just lift that out, All right, and then oop, I'm gonna need a little. You'll need a little flat-headed screwdriver, because there is a there's a, a little clip right here that holds wires in place. This is for the H for the brushless HP part. The special oomph that the HP batteries give you. This just holds the. Holds that wire in place, just like that. And this, hopefully, it slides out. Yeah, that just slides out. There we go. Then that is the, and that's the body. Body is completely out. So then, this is the actual mechanics of the drill right here. And so you got your speed adjuster right here. Let's focus in on that. Got your speed adjuster. This is your reverse and kill and stop switch. Reverse. You slide this forward, reverse, and then in the middle to uh, not to prevent it from working at all. Then you everything else now. Technically, I could try to, uh, you could just connect the battery to it. Just make sure that uh, it goes into the, the positive goes to the positive and negative goes to negative. That's this right here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The light doesn't even go on. So that tells me right there that uh, there is a problem with the board. Now I see major corrosion in a lot of places that I, I couldn't get to when I first inspected this. So we're gonna continue the disassembly. It's all, it's luckily, it's all still the same, the same uh, type of uh, drill bit. This drill, this drill is awesome. You'll get a little grease on your hands. Then that just comes off like that. Then this, this rotates off. It rotates off just like that, and then that comes off. Now I am sorry, I do not know what all of this is called. See, what I did is I cleaned all that with the best I can, but there's still a lot of corrosion on there. I'm pretty sure a board, something's dead. 
Yep, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not going to be able to fix any of that stuff. It's in there. Then when it comes to this, the last thing I did was take the motor out. That's a powerful magnet. That seriously is a very powerful magnet. It really is. So that's what the brushless uh, mechanism looks like when it comes to when it comes to this tool. It's really it's really a it actually is a good good simple design. And then it, this just goes inside of it, and then the electromagnetism. I do not know what it's called. Just rotates this. Then this turns the gears, the orbital gears in the head. And then that's how you get your power. So next we are going to take apart this. Now I didn't go this far last time because I was hoping to be able to fix it. But we're just going to take flat out take it apart. Oh, oh that's a regular. That's a regular Phillips. All right, from here on out, I will be putting gloves on. All righty, so now what this is, this is, oop, this is the, the gear shift for uh, speed. That's for speed. Now, but what is inside here is orbital, oh, I, for, I forgot one. That is, see, I think, the, and, and the water majorly decreased this too. Majorly decreased that. Now let's get a. Uh, so, that's good though. Orbital, that's together. Those are together. I think there's a missing. There we go. There's four. Now those stay together. That stays together. All right now, where do we go from here? Yeah, because how this works is it's driven by one. It's driven by one gear, but then if you keep adding gear after gear after gear, the easier this works, and this gets more powerful as the gears go in there. So, So that so that's how the uh, drills get so powerful so easily with using little power, because all you got to do is spin this, and then the gears do the work. So it's actually an ingenious invention for all drills to do. Take, oop, 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 oop. Yep, uh, yep. My odds odds of me putting this together just went down to nothing. I think those are just the rods. So yeah, then the then the gears eventually just spin this, and then that spins the chuck. And the clutch is just a stopper for a certain for a certain amount of tension on here, and then it just skips the gears. So so you don't strip the screw. This impact to get that out. I will need an extension. Where's the metal one? I need a thin one for this. Battery is full. Let's see if we could shock it out. Try. 
Maybe it's reversed. Yes, it is. All right, taking that screw out is reversed. There we go. So, what I just learned, which we're going to do this a little differently than what I, what I just learned. That's, so that's the inner workings of the, of the Ryobi One Plus brushless hammer drill. I'll put the bottle number uh, in the video right now. And so, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. It's thanks to this, uh, the brushless system, that makes this so much easier to wear. It just pretty much needs some uh, gears in the chuck for the clutch and for the speed. And then a, cir uh, a circuit board for the motor. And then, of course, the switch, the light. The HP HP uh, battery assist is right here, and so yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So as you can see, that it, it's not it's not that uh, there's not that much to it when it comes to the actual parts inside. They, you know, it's not some extraordinary extraordinary parts to where you're just not gonna know what stuff is for. It's a uh, it's pretty basic, you know, but but, but thanks to the the brushless system it makes it this easier to do and so that's am i gonna be am i gonna be able to put this together no no but uh it's a good drill it seriously is a good drill and this is this disassembled so but like i said before this uh, drill was garbage uh it sat in water with a battery in it for x amount of days and it, it just it just fried it. I took it apart a few days ago to see if there was anything physically wrong with it that I could see, but the motherboard is fried, and I was told that once that goes, you might as well just trash it. So, but I do have the parts here, uh, just in case if I need parts in the future, I'm gonna bag this up and uh, just keep it aside. And I'm gonna keep the shell too. I'll figure something out with the shell. That actually, I'm sorry, I did injure myself. I gotta watch the pressure on this. So that actually looks almost alike. That I, pretty much almost looks alike. So I hope you learned some stuff in this video. I'm sorry, I do not know what any of this stuff is. You know, not many people do compared to the people that do know. But it is nice to see um, a tool disassembled so you sort of understand on uh, what it looks like inside. Now this is what I'm gonna do for the t my tools that break down on me. If this happens again with another tool where it gets completely drenched for next amount of days and just completely ruins it. And so yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing. So I might as well, before uh, scrapping it, just make a video of it to see what the inner workings are. So this is cool. I like the body though. This, uh, this body design is awesome. And too bad, just too bad I couldn't open this up. I think uh, I watched some videos on how to do this. You actually need to take the chuck off first. Because you need the, the locking system that is inside the drill to lock this up so you can take this off. Because it's, you're, I'm, I stripped the, the shaft in there. And so yeah, uh, just by trying to pry it off with uh, hand tools. But you need to take the chuck off first. Uh, when it comes to the tool because this the locking system locks this in place so you can unscrew it I was able to get the screw out but you need to unscrew this to a reversed uh, th reverse threads in the body so you only way to do that is to have this locked and that the gears will lock this up without stripping it so that's pretty much it. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.